The Eiffel Tower, one of the most iconic pieces of architecture in the entire world. And today, I turned it into a cake. Hi everyone, my name is Jennifer Aniston, let's get started. Now before we get into the video, I want to make sure you know that there are links in the description box so that you can donate to help fight the wildfires in Australia, as well as save the animals. Now let's get to the cake. Okay, so to begin this cake, I'm using a wooden cake board with my PVC pipe system. You see that? And I had to turn the cake board upside down because I wanted to make sure that the bottom of the Eiffel Tower fits. And I've got, I think this is, hold on, one, two, three, four, five. So I've got a six inch square cake and one, two, three, four, and three six inch square cakes. And three six inch square cakes. And three six inch square cakes. And three six inch. And when I stack them, I'm gonna be stacking them upside down. So it should already have sort of like the Eiffel Tower kind of feel. Let's get to it. Now flipping the cakes upside down already gives it the Eiffel Tower shape, but I am going to have to carve the first two layers quite a bit, just so that I can get that really nice, really thin trapezoid shape. That's it, right? That's a trapezoid? Hey Siri, what does a trapezoid look like? In geometry, a convex quadrilateral with at least one pair of parallel sides is referred to as a trapezoid in American and Canadian English, but as a trapezium in English outside North America. Oh, I was right. Would you like to hear more? No, thank you. That was very helpful, though. Thank you, Sherry. I was right. I finished with the Chrome Co. I added a little bit of a support system here. The rest of the Eiffel Tower is going to be made with fondant and I wanted to make sure that it didn't weigh down the rest of the cake, especially since the top layer of cake is super tiny. I'm going to have to add a dowel here just so that I can make sure that the top of the Eiffel Tower, it's like so tall, doesn't flop over. I'm very scared about that. Now I know that the Eiffel Tower is kind of like the Ferris wheel that I have back there. It's just this metal structure that's hollow. Um, but I've found a way to make it so that the inside can be cake as well as show the structure of the Eiffel Tower. I think this will work. Fingers crossed. I think it will. I'm pretty sure. Let's get to work. It was really hard to add the layer of fondant on top of this cake because I wasn't sure how to deal with the corners. They go in on both sides and it was really hard to use my fondant smoothers to get really nice corners, but I wasn't gonna worry about it because there's a lot more to this cake than this blue layer of fondant. Now when I was adding the two larger pieces of fondant that go on top to create the top of the Eiffel Tower, I was handling the fondant quite a bit. But because of that support system I placed right on top, the bottom layers of cake didn't feel any of that weight. Okay guys, so here is the product right now. And I'm just gonna say it because I'm sure you can tell I screwed up right there and also right there. You can see the seams and I really hate using like the fondant paste like when you mix it with a little bit of magic sauce. It doesn't ever work, it's never as smooth as I want um, but I didn't know how to fix this. However, I'm not going to stress about it too much because I still have to build the wire structure that creates the Eiffel Tower 
and I think I'm going to be able to hide the seam or the mistake a lot with this paint job that I'm going to give it with a little bit of magic sauce and some white food coloring. It's just going to look like clouds, but I think it's going to look really pretty when I start working it all the way around the cake. Let's try this out with this. Alright you guys, look, I hid my mistake with clouds. Look at that. You can't even see my mistake anymore. It looks intentional. This cake is gonna turn out bomb. No more worries. In other news, I finished building my castle again. Look at that, Mickey and Minnie. And I altered the structure so that I could fit the characters inside different places. Before you couldn't do that. So I had to engineer a little bit more room so that the characters could fit inside. Look at that. All I have to do now is build the structure. Let's do it. Okay you guys, this was an extremely complicated process. Now originally I was going to create the entire metal structure of the Eiffel Tower with fondant ropes that I was gonna create with my fondant extruder. Um, but it was a nightmare. The, well, these tiny little ropes kept breaking. Uh, my hands were sticky from all the magic sauce I was using to glue them on. And so I decided to go with a combination of royal icing and fondant. All the longer pieces of ropes that could be a little bit thicker, I tried to do with fondant, but the Eiffel Tower is made up of several X's and I decided to do all of those X's with royal icing. It's funny, because if you look at the cake closely, you can see when I started creating the X's and then they're like perfect X's. But then like towards the top, you can tell that I was kind of over it and so my X's are really sloppy. <laughs> but I was really happy with it. So here's the tower, look at it, it's looking pretty stunning. And you know I had to add some of these molds because I love this mold, I use it for everything. And I know I took some liberties with the design but I think it just upgrades the piece tenfold. So let's get to the luster dusting. So we got some gold luster dust going on and you know I decided to go with blue fondant underneath it because I kind of wanted to mimic the Cinderella carriage cake that I created a while back. And here's the final product. You guys, look at that. I'm loving it. So there's a ton of stuff that I love about this. I love the luster dust because yo, I just love luster dust. I love how the white food coloring hides my mistakes by the seams. And I also love the baby's breath that I added. I think it just adds a little bit more depth and a whole lot more class to this piece. love this cake. I knew that it was going to be a lot of work going into it, but I knew it was going to be really rewarding when I saw the final product, just covered in gold. Now last Saturday was my aunt's birthday and this was perfect because we ended up using this cake to celebrate her 85th birthday. She was floored when she saw this. It's just like the gold is so immaculate. Now I'm curious, what other buildings would you like me to create? What other famous buildings? Put your ideas in the comments and they might become a video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you, I will see you very soon. Peace!